Hey YouTube. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to do a bucket test for your fast lift pump. If you are having problems with the suction side or return side, this is how you do a little diagnostics. So there's my sump. I have both my return line and this is the feed line to the lift pump. It goes down up through the box. And we come back over here. So this pump is not building suction. So I have removed the water separator. I have sprayed WD-40 up inside, there are two holes where the filter is, and that still didn't work. So the next step, will actually be removing the pump, bringing it inside and replacing O-rings. But first I'm gonna show you how this bucket test works. So now I'm going to turn on the fast system. You can hear the pump is running, but in the five gallon pail, that is air blowing out of my return line. Nothing going through the feed line. Just air in the return line. So when I had contacted FAS about my pump not having suction, they first asked me to remove this filter. And by removing this filter, they wanted me to spray WD-40 inside the holes. So there's actually two holes. There's a hole where this finger is, and then this finger. So they want you to turn the pump on. Take the straw from the WD-40, or something similar, and spray it. You still want the fuel filter to be cracked a little bit so that it will still allow to prime if the pump does gain suction. So by putting my finger over this, I have a tiny bit of suction, but I do not have nearly enough. So the next step will be actually pulling apart the fast system. I'm going to pull, the part, pull apart the fast system and I'm gonna replace the O-rings that are on the inside just to make sure 
that one wasn't pinched from the factory. So now that I've got the pump back inside and removed from the truck, I'm going to be removing these four Allen key bolts. They are a 13 16 Allen key. I just have it on a socket. I'm going to remove those four. And then this upper T block will actually separate from here. So here we are, I have it separated. And that was the inside. So this is a little check valve. And there are the O-rings that I'm going to be replacing. So I cleaned off the surfaces, reinstalled new O-rings. Every time you install O-rings, please always give it a little bit of grease. <clears throat> Dipping your finger in diesel fuel won't cut it. So give it a nice thin coat of grease on your O-rings. Clean up the surface, make sure there's no debris. I did the same thing on this one, cleaned up the surface cleaned up the catch valve and now I'm going to put it all back together so I just finished mounting the mount again I tightened these four allen bolts back on so I'm going to give this one more shot at WD-40 like the instructions mention and then I will be going out and remounting this onto the truck. I do apologize for the no light. We did just lose the power. We're getting a good snowstorm right now. So I got the pump reinstalled on the truck with my feed and return line still in the bucket. With the pump on, you can see that there is a small amount of fuel coming out of the return line, but that is not enough. If you listen closely, you can hear that the pump is not primed properly. What I'm going to do is reach over and crack the fuel filter to prime it. You can hear the difference when the pump is primed properly, so at that point, tighten the filter. Now you can see the pump is running the way it should be. I know my fuel looks foamy due to the amount of WD-40 I've been spraying. This is the type of flow you're looking for. When you do see this, run the lines back to your truck. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.